Hello again. Welcome or welcome back. I am Goddess Dawn and I'm here to talk about Joycelyn Savage. Joycelyn Savage has been with R. Kelly for some time now and people are concerned. She is the the girl that was on TMZ back in 2016 pleading to her parents to leave her alone because she was an adult at this point and she wanted to be with Robert Kelly. Just uh, give me a second to finish clearing this space. I'm burning some sage. Burning some sage just to clear the space. Get a fresh start. I suggest you get some sage yourself. It's really good to do. Burn it in the house, all in the corners and everywhere, the crevices. Open a window, let all the air blow out the negative energy. It's a good thing to do on a regular basis. You get sage a lot of places. You can just Google. to let that burn okay so before we get into the um, the tarot reading I do what's called um spirit writing so that's when I go into a meditative state focused on my query which in this case has been jo Joyce Lynn Savage and then I just write the messages that I get once um, they start flooding in which usually happens so <clears throat> The messages that I got were jo Joyce Lynn Savage, beautiful but damaged, a shell of herself, feigned happiness or false happiness, scared, turned out, under pressure, uh, she just wants it all to go away, there's lots of tears, she's in danger of, se and she is in danger of self-harm. Both she and Azrael, it says, are in danger. Uh, but specifically, he said that Joyce Lynn was in danger of self-harm. She had fun in the beginning, but not anymore. Um, there's lots of fighting and arguing. I did get the final message. They will return home, but at a great cost. At great cost. I don't know great cost. is I, What I got from it initially was um, that Robert Kelly would be paying for his deeds in the end of it um but it, it so just knowing that they're going to return home um i also got i didn't write it down i got interrupted but i also got that she still really doesn't have an interest in her family she doesn't really want to deal with her family still even after I think it's all said and done and hopefully everything ends peacefully and, and everyone goes home safely. Um, she and her family, unlike the message I got with Azriel, that she would eventually come out of it and be able to heal. And I'm not getting the same thing with Joycelyn. I'm getting that it's, there's still tension. There's going to be, you know, there's tension with the family, a lot of tension. And she does, she still has a distaste for her family. So, um, so that's what I got. Um, this, this whole thing is just so insane. I don't know if you guys read the latest about the death threats that his manager, um, I can't think of his name in this moment, but um, I think it's Ross, Don, oh gosh, okay. Well, his um, R. Kelly's manager was caught threatening, um, number one, the venue that aired the premiere of the docuseries. They got a phone call. Someone at the venue got a call threatening that if they went ahead with the airing, that there would be consequences. 
and also the father Joy, um, Azriel's yeah Azriel's father got um, a phone call also threatening um, that they were gonna kill him basically and they traced the calls back to the manager so with that being said that just says to me that they're very reckless and the fact that they were able to trace the call back to the number I don't know it just says to me that whoever's doing this is doing it out of they're not thinking things through they're just doing things rashly out of desperation or Kelly have been to the hospital for panic attacks um, I think I said it was before the airing but the panic attacks apparently started before the airing of the docuseries but it got bad enough to where he had to go seek hospital um, treatment after the airing so he's feeling the pressure from the public the other celebrities that are denouncing him supposedly are also getting to him and he's shaking in his boots as he should be so um, anyway so that was that on the reading now we're gonna get to the actual tarot card reading okay so we've cleared the space I got my favorite tarot deck ready this is the one I've had the longest just to let you know what we're working with you can actually google this deck if you want to get like the actual meanings of the cards um, so we've cleared the space energy right I have the sound bowl which just accents what the bell does we're talking about Joyce Lynn Savage I got a quite a few requests to talk about Joyce Lynn Savage after I did the Ariel Clary um, reading that reading was pretty brief and short and sweet, but I think it really did um, give us some information, which was positive um, at the end, stating she would eventually return home um, and would be able to heal at some point. So what you're seeing right now is my pendulum. Um, we want to make sure that we have connected with Joycelyn, so typically I'll just use the pendulum. And I'm going to ask my pendulum to let us know if we're all on the same page, the goddess deck and the pendulum. Are we connecting with Joycelyn Savage? We have some questions. Let us know. And what it'll do is it'll go in a circle for yes, and it'll go back and forth for no. Clearly going in a circle. I'm not moving my fingers nor my wrist. This is real life. Okay, great. So we're connecting with Jocelyn. I'm gonna put my pendulum down. Let's take some deep breaths and see what we get here. Okay, we got the tarot deck. Let me. I'm gonna cut the deck just to make sure. And I typically just shuffle. So like the ones that'll stand up, I'll, I'll just grab them. Um, Joycelyn Savage, we are wanting to know what's up with Joycelyn at this point. I'm gonna pull one more card. Okay, this one. And um, I pulled this one just because it stood up, but I really only wanted to pull three. So I'm going to set these aside, and then I'll set that as a bonus. And we'll see what that's about after. So we pulled these three cards. Let me turn them around so you can see. <clears throat> All right, so first card we pulled was the eight of cups we then pulled the Venus card and then the king of staves and I basically just asked what's up with Jocelyn Savage 
Her parents are um, saying that she's brainwashed. She's been, okay. So to recap, um, since we're here, her um, Jocelyn Savage has been with R. Kelly. He, she met him in 2015 at her parents' boutique. Um, when she met him, um, you know, at some she slipped away through her parents' fingers and ended up now um, being one of his. People are calling her a sex slave. I don't want to be disrespectful, but um, she's part of his concubine. I don't know. If that's even proper to say. But um, jokes aside, because this is no laughing matter, it's 2019. It's been four years. Her parents are devastated. They have lost all contact with their daughter. I think there is some video I found online. If I find it, I can sneak it in here um but it was on youtube and it was jocelyn going back and forth with her mother i guess she had gone home briefly and they were trying to keep her there um i think it was about a year ago Which D, is who is D? who is D? I don't know who D is why are you talking i'm ready to go like why i'm still you don't know who he is why are we still here r kelly already knows about me and adonis so he at this point he knows everything no, so that's why how holly was trying to Holly's that's why that's why she that's why she tried to set me up i no, know why now. That. because he didn't know anything that's why he asked me he said he was like you gonna tell me the truth and i told him the truth i said i had sex with another guy and yeah he, he was really mad about that but he you don't be mad he has to trying to set you up that's what i'm i know that i see that now because i said i had a feeling that holly has contacted how you gave him the number so the, the Holly, and he, I thought after she called, I said, okay, I don't care if you called or not. But Holly came home and gave him the number. Holly, so what makes her think that he has to? What makes her think that he gonna get rid of me? Because he said. He's he, not so it sounds like that she has been back and forth home, and maybe even connecting on a minimal basis, but um, as far as actually reaching her and engaging with her and having her, um, that hasn't happened. Um, as a parent myself with an adult son. I will say that it is very heartbreaking to feel as though you have lost connection with your child. Um, my son and I have been through it, you know, just him growing up. Um, it's just the two of us, so, um, you know, his father was, unfortunately, his father passed away. My husband passed away when uh, he was only four years old, and um, it was a pretty tragic situation but um actually is what actually got me into um the onto the path i would say of a spiritual awakening the cards um helped me a lot to just learn about myself and my journey so i want to help people and this is why i'm here and anybody who doesn't like it, you can down thumb me if you want to, but you might as well just bounce on up out of here because none of that is going to matter in the long run. Say what you want, but I am who I am. and I'm going to do what I'm going to do. All that being said, um, I just want to say I just came across a story on TMZ, which I did post on my IG page. And the, the story said that two police officers um, were called to um, R, R. Kelly's Trump residence in Chicago after a report that two women were being held there against their will. Those women were Azriel Clary and Jocelyn, Joycelyn Savage. Um, the police officers were said to have made R. Kelly go into another room while um, they talked to the, the women and the women claimed they were there voluntarily. I think it was more so like a wellness check um, situation, but um, that supposedly happened um, today, Jan January 11th, 2019. So that's the most update I've heard about, especially Azriel. She has been the one no one has seen. She is the one, if you go on Twitter and search her name, people are um, wondering if she's even alive, which is very haunting. Uh, and a quick update on the whole um, R. Kelly might be moving to Africa or out of the country. I was watching something today that somebody supposedly had an inside um, information about the fact that he can't leave the country. He didn't say why. So I don't know if there is something on him to say you can't leave until we figure things out. But I hope that is the case because I did pull a travel card last time for Azriel. My thoughts on it was that she would be traveling back home, but... Um, if 
if he is planning on moving him and the, the, the girls out of the country, that travel card could have very well meant that. And I hope that is not the case. So let's get to these cards. Um, so we first pulled the Eight of Cups when asking about Joyce Lynn. So let's see what the Eight of Cups has to say. Eight of Cups. All right. The moon has waned. The tide has gone out. Searching for more substantial fare, the woman leaves behind eight empty cups she has drunken of, meaning time to move on, the need for more substance in life, whether that be more satisfying relationships, a more authentic way of life. So, okay, so she needs to get the heck up out of there is what the card it says. Time to go. You need, you, you can do better than this. This is not what life is. Okay, so I think that we can all agree that that sounds about right um so the next card is the love card the venus card which actually also came up in our Azriel's reading i'll read that one again venus love so the card is here created from the happy union of sea and sky venus the roman goddess of love has been described by many as the queen of pleasure and passion meaning a renewed awareness of the nature of passionate love and what is needed to encourage it, artistic creativity, sexuality, integration of the masculine and the feminine, new important relationship. So this is confirming that there is a passionate relationship, artistic creativity involved. We know who that is, sexuality. And remember, um, Azriel is also a singer. So um, in talking about artistic creativity, it's really not just him. And I don't know, I don't remember if Joycelyn sings as well or had aspirations but um he tends to gravitate toward um people who are aspiring to do what he does um now i don't remember if this card came up reversed or not but the reverse meaning of this card is man manipulating others with sexuality and ability to find a loving partner and so that could actually represent um, him and or her, both of them. But definitely um, just representing here sex, sexual, uh, artistic creativity, masculine and feminine. So, and then lastly, King of Staves when asking about Joyce Lynn. So let's see what the King of Staves has to say. So we know she needs to leave. It's time to go, and we know that there's a lot of sex and art and creativity. So, King of Staves is um, the card. It me the card itself is regal, expansive, and energizing. The King of Staves is the epitome of the sun's power. He has the ability to inspire others to grow because of his enthusiasm, meaning dynamic, stable enthusiasm. Mastery over, I'm sorry, uh, mastery over business ventures, the ability to bring ideas to fruition. So this is speaking of someone who is regal, who has, who is expansive, energizing, who can bring business ventures to light. I mean, this sounds like Robert Kelly. Um bringing ideas to fruition. He has the ability to do that. So clearly that's what he's been doing. Um, he's the mastermind behind all of these deviant shenanigans. So not sure. So let's look at the bonus card that I pulled, Four of Cups, when asking about Joyce Lynn. Four of Cups. The card itself is, uh, after and overindulging, the woman sits beneath a tree hoping to ground herself after the excitement of intoxication. Four cups rest before her, but she has drunk enough. Too much of a good thing is the meaning. The meaning is too much of a good thing, taking something for granted, love, talents, beauty, discontent, or boredom. So, okay, so she's over it, it sounds like. She's kind of over it all. I'm sure things have gotten pretty intense since the airing of the docuseries, Surviving R. Kelly. 
I'm sure there's a lot of drama behind the scenes. Um, I also posted on my Instagram that um, he was, um, R. Kelly went to the hospital for panic attacks right before the docuseries aired because he was um, shook, basically. So, um, all that being said, I don't know. Basically, to me, the cards just basically let us know that she's, it's time for her to go. And I think they both know it at this point. And um, the relationship, though, is still there and still going. And um, she's still she's still there. So let's see. We got the Seven of Swords. Let's see what the Seven of Swords has to say. Thank you for your patience and thank you for sticking with me and make sure you subscribe and like and all that because um, I'm going to be doing these more often. Probably try to do them really short if I can. Okay, so the, the Seven of Swords. The woman is trying to carry seven swords but only five will fit in her arms. As she looks over her shoulder, she hopes the swords left behind her will not be used against her. Meaning... The, uh, the ability to defend oneself in a difficult situation. However, energy should not be placed in recriminations. Need for caution and examination. So, it looks, sounds to me like um, the woman is trying to carry seven, five, seven swords, but she can only carry five. So she's got, she's in too deep, basically. Overwhelmed with the situation and um, she can defend herself, but then if she does, she knows that there's things that can basically bite her in the butt or come back at, at her based on what has been done and said and signed based on what I've seen and heard. Um, he has these girls write out lies about themselves and sign it as if they're declarations of things they've done, criminal acts or whatever, um, just to have something on them. And just an FYI, people who are speaking about non-disclosures and, um, things of that nature when you're of a, a, a minor age and you sign a non-disclosure that non-disclosure is no good it will not stand up and that should not um, deter anybody from speaking out so um, I guess we'll leave it here so what it looks like here this is the kind of summing up that she wants to defend herself and she wants to break free however she is overwhelmed and she feels like trapped because um she has to be careful and there's things that um, could be probably come back um to bite her based on things that have been done and said and etc so what she needs is love and support and prayer so i just really encourage everybody to um, say a prayer and um wish her well in coming home i appreciate you visiting my channel my second video and uh, come back again remember to subscribe peace